inspired by a couple of others and my own contribution, and I'd like to share this list with you. First, learning the power of purpose. A person who has purpose in their life, they have something to go for, some meaning. One writer described it, for some people it becomes a magnificent obsession. And for you and I, maybe it doesn't need to be that dramatic as a magnificent obsession. But it has to be something that does something to us, something that pulls us, especially into the future. You know, there are many influences on us. One is the influence of the past. Some people are always pulled back, back, back by the past. Some people are always pulled aside by the distractions, the distractions. But here's what's powerful. If you have a list of high purpose in your life, it pulls you toward the future. And the more powerful the purpose is, the stronger it pulls. And here's the other great advantage if you have purpose for the future. It pulls you through all kinds of challenges and all kinds of difficulties. If you don't have these strong purposes for the future, it's easy to get swallowed by a bad day. It's easy to be almost annihilated by a poor month. And it's easy sometimes to almost disappear beneath the waves of a, a year that goes backwards if you don't have something to pull you beyond that year. So if you want something to pull you through all kinds of challenges, all kinds of difficulties, and things that come at you, you got to have something on out there, beyond today, beyond next week, beyond next month, beyond this year, that pulls you into the future. And the clearer it is, the stronger it pulls. The more, the more dynamic it is, the more it affects your life, your spirit, your heart, your soul. It also creates imagination. It gets your mind working on how to achieve that purpose. And if your mind will work, and if your heart works, and if your spirit works, and if you have good input, like good ideas, I'm telling you, there isn't anything you can't accomplish. So that's one of the great powers that will make a variable of you, and that is purpose. Here's the next one, self-confidence. Where does self-confidence come from? And this is the best advice I can give you on that. Not neglecting, first of all, the small daily disciplines. Self-confidence really comes from feeling good about yourself. And one of the best ways to feel good about yourself is at the end of the day to know that you poured it on. You did your best. If you conducted a meeting, you did the best you could. If you made a phone call, it was the best phone call you could possibly make. If you wrote a letter, it wasn't a casual letter, it was your best letter. At the end of those kind of days, when you feel good about yourself, self-confidence starts to rise. You know that if you can have this kind of a good day, you can have another one the next day, and those days become the weeks, the weeks become the months, and the month becomes a powerful year. Self-confidence comes from the lack of neglect that you will not neglect to do small daily disciplines. That's where self-confidence comes from. Good evening, guys. How are we doing? Welcome to another episode of Breaking Bread, a safe place to share ideas on a personal human development delivered around food, fitness, and motivation. I'm your host, Oris Jones, the Game Changer. This is your game change in moment. It only takes a moment to change the game. Yes, guys. I want to apologize for the time. Um, an hour and a half behind schedule, but let's get this show going and let's uh, talk about some topics that uh, I've been thinking about today and that's dear to my heart, okay? First thing I want to say, once again, thank you everyone that's funded the page, my GoFundMe page. Thank you if you've donated to that page. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough. Uh, it's a blessing for everyone that's donated to that page. Please, 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 if you can keep donating, please keep donating. It's for a good cause. Uh, I, I, I am 100% sure that a lot of people are going to benefit from stuff that we're going to invest into. So um, everything I do is not about me, guys. It's about making other people uh, create happiness for other people. So again, guys, please keep donating. And for those that have donated, thank you very much. Um, before I start today's show, I want to... Um, I want to talk about the power of, of, of giving and the power of helping and how important this thing is. So I've got this tree here. Uh, this is called a money tree. Anybody know about this tree here? Yeah? Money tree. I learned about this today. 
So before I didn't know what a money tree was until today. So this is what you call a money tree, okay? So why have I got this money tree up in my hand? I'm going to sh share with you this quick story how I became to have this money tree, okay? Now, um, I was walking today and uh, I seen an old lady and another lady and they were trying to carry these, um, these flower baskets uh, in boxes and there were about, you know, maybe four of them. And I could see they were struggling and it seemed as if like they had to make several trips. So I thought to myself, you know, um, five minutes, four minutes out of my time is not going to kill me. So I, I, I asked the lady, I said, um, uh, where's your car? She goes, my car's around the corner. So I said, okay, no problem. I said, I'll give you a hand. Anyway, so I picked up two of these boxes full of, uh, full of flowers. Um, my intentions were to just bring these flowers around the corner, help this lady and be on my way. Yeah? Two minute job, no problem. So I took up these two um, square boxes full of flowers and I made my way around the corner with these two boxes of flowers. I've got one box in this and one box in this and I'm walking around the corner. So the woman, she, she was astonished to see me having both boxes in my hands. Ah, have, have you managed to do that? No problem, love, you know, man goes to the gym. But <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so I brought the, 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 the two boxes of flowers to this lady. And she goes, oh, yeah, yeah, um, you know, let me give you a plant. Let me give. So I said, no, no, I don't want a plant. I'm okay, I'm fine. She goes, no, 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 you know, I insist. Let me give you a plant. I'm like, no, love, I'm, I'm fine. I don't need a plant. She goes, no, let me give you a plant. She goes, you know, yeah, I'm going to give you a money plant. I'm like, money plant? money plant like, like what is a money plant like what is a money plant you know what I mean so you know she was digging up the free the free I think it was about four boxes and she's looking for this money plant and then she spotted this plant she goes you know what yeah right I have this plant here and she started telling me about the money plant and how when it grows it grows massive and I gotta make sure that I've, I gotta transfer this into another pot and um yeah it's a beautiful plant now the thing behind this or the moral behind the story was Two seconds of my time got me a free plant. That probably costed probably a tenner. I don't know how much this plant costs, but it might cost a tenner. So two seconds of my time got me a free plant. Now, I didn't do it intentionally to get a plant. I've done it intentionally because I wanted to help that person. Because I felt that person needed help. And I happened to be at that specific place at that specific time. Like I say to people, I am a true believer of... Things happen for a reason. You meet people for a reason. You're in a certain place for a reason. These things don't just happen. Two minutes later, that lady would have been gone. Two minutes sooner, that lady would have not been there. So I happened to be there at the specific time that lady needed that help. You understand? There's nobody else walking past, only me. So this is why I'm, I'm a, such a strong believer in believing that, guys, certain things happen to us situations we meet people we meet them for a reason it's up to us to look at what that reason is okay and start acting on that reason or i could have seen that lady and thought it's not my problem on my way corona i don't want to start to wear i could have kept on walking but i thought no that woman needs my help i can help her um so yeah the power of helping so me helping that lady now i've now got myself a free money plant that I'm very, very happy about. That I want to see this money plant. I want to see this money plant massive. So I'm going to buy a pot tomorrow. And I'm, I'm going to invest into this money plant. I'm going to invest my time into it. I'm going to go and research it. How to water it. How to look after it. And I think every time I see this money plant. That memory of how, of how I got this money, money plant. is going to be in my head. And it, it's going to keep saying to me. The power of giving. The power of helping. You know, and it's not about, like I said, helping to receive. I just helped that lady because I knew I could help that lady because I happens to be there. And for me to pick up two boxes of flowers was nothing to me, you know. And it was a, 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 a one minute um, um, trip away from my destination, okay. So it wasn't a massively detour. It was a, a couple of seconds detour from my destination. And me doing that, one, I made that lady feel good. Because the smile that was on her face made me feel good inside, okay? It's that priceless feeling. It's being able to help somebody and the smile that you see on the face makes you feel good with inside. And these are the things, guys, I'm saying. If you're feeling a bit low inside, you're feeling, again, going back to the anxiety, going back to the depression. If you're feeling these kind of feelings inside, go out there and help somebody. 
And that smile that you get off that person, that appreciation, that, that alone will make you feel good inside. So like I said, that lady, when she see me with the two flowers in my hands, her face glue up. She, 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 she made, she was like, let me find this money plant. She was looking for this money plant. She wanted, she wanted to make sure that that money plant was, was handed to me. That made me feel big and special inside, thinking that woman, she wasn't looking for no other plant, you know. It's like this money plant was so special that she wanted me to have this plant. And I had that plant because that plant was meant for me. That plant was not meant for Joe, John, Beth, Sam, whoever. It was meant for the game changer, Horace Jones. And Horace Jones, the game changer, got the plant. So once again, guys, I'm telling you, it is so important to find it in your heart to help somebody or to help other people. Because the rewards are great. And it only happens to be that I got my reward straight away. So sometimes the reward doesn't come to us straight away. Sometimes the reward might take a year, a month, a week, lifetime. But the reward might even go down to our kids or our whatever. But the, the, the smile that was on that lady's face was reward enough for me. I didn't need a plant. The plant was a bonus. So the power of giving, the power of helping, it's a massive thing, guys, that we need to start looking at. Uh, introducing into our lives because I just feel like once you start doing these things you know it's it's that feeling of like you know when you go to work and you work because you want to get paid don't you none of us go to work because we want to go to work the majority of us hate work so we go to work to get paid let's be honest right there's a small minority of us that go to work because we love our jobs so when we get paid getting paid is a bonus but apart from that the majority of us hate work yeah so when, when you can do something that makes you feel good inside and the person makes you feel good inside, that payment is better than any kind of physical money payment, okay? It's a payment, like I said to you, it's to see that woman's face lit up, that is a priceless feeling for me. That's a feeling that's going to be with me probably for probably the rest of my life, I don't know. Every time I see this plant, I'm going to always visualise that woman's face. I'm going to remember that face. I'm going to remember what I did which is going to probably help me more to think, help more people, okay? Uh, I'm on a mission to help a billion people. Uh, I don't know how much people I've helped so far, but I know I've, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting numbers, yeah? <laughs> I'm hitting numbers. And again, it just makes me feel good inside. It's like a, a good factor feeling inside that nobody can take away from me, understand? Anyway, let's move on. So we talked about uh, the funding page, the power of help. Uh, and what's the other one? Oh, yeah, I want to talk about... Um, this weekend away, okay? So the Game Changer has uh, a getaway weekend where we go on a bit of an excursion and we, we are in the Lake District. And um, what happens? So in the Lake District, we, we leave on a Friday, we come back on a Sunday, and it's packed with fun activities, we're packed with team building, we're packed with conversations, it's packed with delicious food, it's packed with... Uh, coming out your comfort zone, it's packed with facing your fears, it's packed with challenges, and these are the things that you need guys to grow. Um, and you know that little weekend away, I believe in that. You know, I, I brought I brought uh, a few people, but especially I know I brought this young man, and I knew that little weekend uh, has made that person grow. And that 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 is all my aim is. My my aim of everything I do is just to inspire people, to motivate people, to get them to grow to get them to, um, you know, uh, see themselves as, as the true people that they can be and also try new things. Um, I brought also, I brought my daughter as well. Um, she walked up to her, she done her first mountain and um, one of the things that she learned on that way was the, the power of belief and how, how strong it was for her to believe that she could walk up that mountain rather than having that negative thought in your head to thinking, Oh, it's too far. I can't do it. It's hurting me. I don't want to do it. I want to give up. And that's the feelings that most of us have on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's why we don't live to our true potential. We kind of stay uh, static, standard to where we, 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 we do things that we do every single day, which, 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 um, which takes no effort. You know, we, we, we do the most easiest tasks because now they, 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 they come automatic to us. And anything outside that that zone, we we we, we tend to t um, question because now it's 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 making us you know whether we're getting it wrong or it's making us probably anxiety or it's making us sweat or you know it's making us nervous. So we tend not to do a lot of these things. We tend to just keep.
keep doing what we've been doing for the last 10, 5, 20 years, whatever. So see my daughter uh, overcome that bit of, um, what, what, what should I say, whether it's fear or whether it's um, that thing of inside of like wanting to give up, you know, she wanted to give up. Um, the, the mountain was hard, it was raining. There was all these attributes, why not to do it? You know, why to stop? There was all these things that were, that was, yeah, let's stop, let's not do it. And um, she had me there, she had Claire, uh, and, and, and we were just kept on basically inspiring her, motivating her, kept on doing it, inspiring her, motivating her. So no, even though deep in her mind, she was thinking, oh, shut up, you keep chatting rubbish. You know, I don't want to do this anymore. But I know when she, went, when she reached the top of the mountain, and she came to... Because every time you go to a top of the mountain, there's, there's like a little bit of a... I'm not too sure what the, what the name of it is, but there's like a bit of a... Like a bit of a statue thing that you that you say, yeah, I've touched it, I've I've, I've reached the top of the mountain. When she re when she reached the top of the mountain, she's seen that. I see the smile on her face. I seen all that all that pain, all that disbelief, all that all that um, anger, all that frustration it was all released because she made it to the top of the mountain. And this is and this is what I said to her. This is what life is. Life is a journey of uphill struggles. And it's only the best of us that really make it to the top. A lot of us, after about 10 minutes walking up the mountain, we turn back around. It's too hard for us. We don't, wanna, we, don't, we don't want the challenges. We want to keep to basically what we were doing because what we were doing yesterday was a lot easier. So, yeah, for my daughter, um, it was definitely a game-changing moment. And um, I, I'm just happy that I was there as a father to guide her through that, that difficult moment where I knew... If she would have had other people there saying, "Oh, let's let's turn back," oh, you know, it's too hard. This, let's turn back. I knew she would have turned back. And one of the things I say to her all the time is that in life comes struggles, which lead to opportunities, which lead to um, better understanding of life. Okay, so when you think of uh, something that's hard or a struggle, and you give up, okay. Nine times out of ten, it means that the next struggle you come up to, you're going to give up again. Because that factor in your brain says to you, oh, it's too hard. Uh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't accomplish this. Give up, give up, give up, give up. But once you come to something that's hard in your life and you master it and you achieve it, the next time you come up to another struggle, you say to yourself, oh, I remember that struggle that, that I had last time and, and I achieved it. It gives you a better tools to deal with this new struggle. Now, guys, what we've got to remember is that we all have struggles, we all have um, obstacles, we all have disappointments, we all have these things on a day-to-day -day basis. The difference is, is how we deal with them. And there is nothing better than having good tools to deal with these situations. And the tools that I think are the best tools is every time you come up to an obstacle or, or a situation that you find difficult, jump in it. Because what's the worst that can happen? You get it wrong. You learn from the mistake, so you come up to this, the same solution again. Oh, I've done this last time, it didn't work, maybe we've got to do this, maybe we've got to do this, maybe we've got to change. And the circle of people is so important. When my daughter was walking up that mountain, I was egging her on, Claire was egging her on, telling her, come on, you can do this, come on, you come on, keep doing it. Left leg over right leg, come on, we're nearly there. Come on, you've got the power, you can do this. We kept on encouraging her. Now, because she kept on getting that encouragement, it gave her that that um that little bit more that little more little more inside power to say you know I can do this. Like I said, if we were saying like, oh you can't do this, Martin. It's too hard work. Let's turn back. She would have give up. Like I said, she would have gave up on this, Martin. That means that every time that she faced something that was difficult in her life, she would have given up. So once again, guys, I'm saying to you is that if you're facing struggles in life, if you're facing obstacles that you find. Uh, incredible, difficult. We all go through them, and sometimes it's just by taking it one step at a time. You know, um, like I said, what one tackling one little bit at a time, and over time you, you will overcome it. But once you've overcome this this obstacle, it means that you've grown. And once you've grown, now it means that again every time you come to another obstacle or another task, you can use your past experience to overcome this new experience. And this is why it's so important, guys, to 
for us to come out of our safety zone, out of our autopilot, and start living the life that we're meant to live. Because one of the things I keep saying that, even though I call myself the game changer, I think we're all game changers. Just that I've tapped into my, into my, I don't know, what can I say? I've tapped into my own powers and I say, okay, then I can, I can achieve anything I want. So I'm living whatever I, I conjure up in my head. If I have an idea in my head, I live it. I experience it, I do it. Some of us, we have an idea, oh, it won't work, oh, it, this and that's not going to work, I haven't got the fun, I haven't got the money. And we, basically, with this, with this heart in our own selves, where with me, it's working, mate. If I can't do it, I'm going to find people that can help me make it happen. That's what I'm do. I'm going to find this person over there, find that person over there, and we're going to work together, and we're going to make it happen. That's how my brain works now. Maybe not two years ago, five years ago, my brain probably worked, oh, it won't work. Oh, I ain't got enough education. I ain't got enough knowledge. I ain't got enough money. Did it. Now it's like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to make it work. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to learn from it. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again until it works. That's why I call myself a game changer. Now, I also believe that everybody else out there has the same thing that I have inside me. We all have it. But there's two things that we need to concentrate on. One is it that you have to visualize. You have to believe and you've got to understand time. The next thing is the circle of people that you surround yourself with on a day-to-day -day basis has the power to either make you or break you because they will influence you all day long. So if you're around negative, pessimistic people, you ain't going to get far in life. But if you're up against people that are inspirational, motivational, um, positive, um, um, go-getters, then that's going to rub, rub off with you. There's a saying that Les Brown says, he says, show me your closest five friends and I'll show you how much money you're going to make or what kind of person you are. So that, 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 that saying goes with everything. Show me that, who you hang around with mostly on the day-to-day -day basis and I'll show what kind of person that you are or what person that you're going to be. So guys, it's vital to start looking at the people that you're around every single day because they're going to influence you whether you like it or not. There is certain things that influence us anyway. Our environment influences, the TV influences, the phone influences, our, 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 um, our families influences. So now we've got our friends. So imagine if all them things that we've got influences are all giving us bad influence. How far different we're going to get in life? We're going to, we're going to live a standard life, aren't we? We're not going to live that life that, that, that really truly that's inside us. So what I'm trying to say to us guys is that, listen, we're all game changers. Let's change the game. It only takes a moment to change the game. And the power of helping somebody is absolutely incredible. Like I said, I'm going to go back to my money plan. I know every time I see this money plan, I'm going to see that woman's face. Serious. Every time I look at my plan, I'm going to put my plan on in my kitchen as well. Because I'm in my kitchen every day. I'm in my kitchen at least twice or twice a day because I cook in the morning and I cook in the evening. So twice a day when I see this plan, I'm going to think about that lady's face. So I feel as if any time I feel a bit low and I feel a little bit, you know, a bit down, I look at this plan, I'm thinking, do you remember that woman's face? How she made you feel? Or you, how you made her feel when you, that little, when you helped her? So, and this is why I like helping people. Because the feeling that I get from that, I can always go back to it. You know, that gratitude of, um, you know, that, that feeling that I have, you know, and, and this is what we, we need to do, guys. We need to have these kind of things around us that when we do feel low, we can go back into our memory bank and say, I remember when I done this for this person. I remember how that person felt and, da -da 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 -da, and that makes me smile. And yeah, yeah, crack on, you know. So again, yeah. Things I speak about today was, like I says, uh, thank you guys for everyone that's given to the page. Thank you very much. Um, one of the things that we want to buy was um, it's it's a boat. Um, uh, it's a kayak boat, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think we're nearly there. I think we nearly got the, um, the amount of money that we need to buy that boat. And the next one we want to buy was one of these. Um, it's like a tent, like a funny kind of tent. And yeah, so we, anyway, we're, we're, we're hitting one of the targets we need to get this, this boat thing. 
and I feel as if like there's going to be a lot of young people, old people that can basically benefit from us getting this little boat thing because we, we can use it on uh, our weekends away and we can use it just on day to day basis. Like I can take that boat, for example, to Chelton Water Park and kids that want to probably go around, people want to go around. Oh, there you go, man. Put a life jacket on. Go around. You know, enjoy the day on the boat. So I feel as if like, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to benefit on these things. So anyway, I'm about to go into the kitchen and I'm going to start cooking this pasta superfood. Why do I call it pasta superfood? Because I'm going to put okra in it. I'm going to put courgette in it. I'm going to put um, avocado in it. And I've got some sun-dried tomatoes, uh, some spring onion. And they're what you call super ingredients, right? So we're going to mix up this pasta. Uh, again, it's going to be a quick meal, but it's going to be packed with vitamins and the minerals that our body needs. Yeah, and it's going to be nice. So, yeah, give me a couple of seconds. Let me transfer to the kitchen and let's do this. Yeah. Let me put back on my music. Not the music. Put back on my inspirational stuff. And the reason why, guys, I'm into this inspirational stuff because it's vital what we listen to or what we let into our brains and our head is very important. You know, whatever you whatever you let inside your head is either going to help you or it's going to basically, you know, you know, it's like one of them things like the difference between listening to hip hop and listening to classical music. When I play hip hop in my car, I seem to drive like a madman. Where I play classical, I'm relaxed. So the power of music and the power I put inside my head sometimes. I can see the influence that it has on my body within a split second. So this is why, for me guys, I'm always loading up with inspirational speakers because the feeling that I get is great. So, let's go into the kitchen. Let's go in the kitchen, guys. Got to uh, rearrange my kitchen, two seconds. I'm a bit late today, guys. As you can see, I've been rush, 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 rush. So give me a couple of seconds, let me rearrange my kitchen. I'm gonna get some water from my plant. Where's me? Uh, found a bowl before. Where's the bowl? Bowl good here. Yeah? yeah, that bowl's good. So again, here's my money plant. I'm gonna put it on the windowsill because I wanna. Every time I come downstairs, or every time I'm in the kitchen. I want to see it, so let me put my money plant right here on the windowsill. Let it get some sunshine. Put some water in it. Money plant. Right, so where we at? We're at the kitchen. Can we get a bit lower? We got lower. So what we got here? So this is the pasta guys I'm going to be using here, these little round ones, got some coriander, it smells beautiful. And not forgetting guys, every time I'm cooking I'm putting my ginger in there, yeah? Again guys, every t everything I'm using guys, research these ingredients, definitely research it. I'm trying to cook with ginger every single time, I'm trying to cook with coriander every single time. So time again, seasoning. Yeah, it smells beautiful. Again, my okra, as they call it, lazy fingers, ladies' fingers, ladies' fingers. This there already comes in a tin, sorry, in a bottle, glass bottle there. I've got my spring onion, got my courgette. 
I got my avocado. So these are the ingredients, guys. That, to be honest with you, they were in my fridge. So I'm gonna make a meal out of these ingredients that I've got in my fridge. Okay, I'm not gonna buy anything else. I'm gonna use what I have. So straight away, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna boil the kettle just to have these quicker. Okay, so I'm gonna boil the kettle one sec. There we go, we've had to transfer from one tripod to another tripod because you can't see my cooking. So I've had to transfer from this to this. First thing I need to do is get myself a pot. So I've not got me a, a trust to help us today, don't worry, still going to make things happen. So these, um, these round pastas, it's only me one, so I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use four of them actually, I'm going to use four of these little round ball things there. I should use one more. Yeah, I'm gonna use one more. So I've got four of these round balls in there. Got my kettle boiling up. Again, guys, um, guys, the thing about oil, then you can see that there, extra virgin oil. Even the guys, this extra virgin oil guys isn't all that. Um, we need to start looking at um, better oil. Again, research it, right? Uh, and these are the things that I'm researching every single day. The things that we're, what we've been buying, these things that these things are killing us. Okay, we've got to look at getting at better oils. Okay, um, off my head, I can't really remember what what the best oils are to use when you're cooking, but. Um, even this one here costs costs us a lot more than this sunflower oil, but even this isn't uh, all that good to be using when it comes to the uh, cooking. So guys, we need to start looking at our health. We need to start looking at the best oils to be using, like things like coconut oil. Yeah, I know that's a good oil. That's the only one I can mention off the head. Um, yeah. So again, like I says, we need to look at basic things like these what we're cooking with, guys, to make ourselves better. But anyway, for now. I'm going to use this, I'm going to get my kettle, I'm going to put my hot water in, my pasta, uh, I'm going to get my pasta going and I'm going to start with my other stuff. Again, I'm putting my pasta on, let the pasta do what it's doing. Like I said guys, we need to go back to the original seasonings, okay? We need to come away from, especially for those that got high blood pressure, diabetes, we need to go back to the thyme, the coriander, the ginger, okay? These are what you call natural seasoning, okay? Even down to the garlic as well. The garlic. Garlic, not forgetting the onion as well. Where's the onion? 
Can we get the onion out? These are what you call natural seasonings, okay? These are all natural, these are from the earth, okay? These are what we're supposed to be eating, okay? Um, these ones up here, these are all man made, okay? Every single one of these have got salt in, okay? So we need to come away from these, eventually go back to these, right? So again, while my pasta is doing what it's doing, I'm going to uh, start from the okra. Put my little okra in there. And again, the okra guys, what I always say to the old guys with okra, cut the head off. Look inside of it if they haven't got any maggots. Cause remember guys, these things come with maggots sometimes. So make sure you cut them up, slice them up. I can see what's in them. So if you go to anywhere guys and they're giving you a full okra with, all that, with the head on, my advice is... I'm not eating it because I don't know what's in it. You understand? The only way I can know what's in it is by basically cutting it up to see what's inside it. Right? So again. Cut these up. Oil there. Like I said guys, the oil. Definitely, uh, you got to look at what oil we're buying. Definitely. Martin, man, how, how's the camping going, Martin? Hope you're uh, having a fantastic time there. The camping with the family. Definitely. Yeah, there we go. And again, I've got about, um, about six, seven heads of okra I'm using. I'm not using too much. Only six, seven heads of okra. I'm going to brown them off. I'm, going to, I'm also going to put my thyme in there as well. So I'm going to put some thyme in. Maybe you can, can you see me up here, can you? Let me just move this a little bit up here. You see me a little bit more better. See my face. See my chest before, guys. Come on, you want to see my chest. So again, there we are. There, give this a little story. And then I'm gonna get some time. Put some time in there with this. Get my time, all my time is guys, all it is is just flavoring. I'm gonna have some good flavoring. Put that in there. Coriander again, it's also flavoring, but I'm gonna leave my coriander to last. I'm not gonna rush to put the coriander in yet. And again, you see when you kind of like give up salt and you're trying to give up these uh, these seasonings, your food might step there. Your food will be like, oh, I don't taste too good. It's remember, you've been eating a certain way for a certain period of time, so you, you can't change overnight. You understand? It takes time for your taste buds to adjust to uh, a different taste, okay? So these things, guys, are going to take time. It's not an overnight thing, okay? I'm going to put... Uh, Two little stems of garlic in there as well. Put this garlic in there. Okay, make sure my fire's not too high because I don't want me uh, no okra burn up. And guys, there's different ways to cook okra. You can you can boil it. I'm gonna give it like a gentle fry when I add a bit of uh, water to it. Finish off kind of like boiling it. There's a different way that someone showed me how to do this garlic thing, you know, and I kind of like, uh, I always go back to the original way all the time. I don't know why I do this all the time. You know, someone showed me a better way, and I go back to the original way, what it takes ages. It's all that about. You know what I mean? Thank okay. Some Jim Rohn guys, I listen to you, I listen to Jim Rohn on a regular basis. Good good inspirational speaker. And uh, that's how I see myself. I see myself no different from the best. It's just about practice. The more practice you get, the more but you get anything else. But you gotta see yourself with the best. And because I wanna be the best, I listen to the best. Okay? Because that's what I wanna be. 
So I want to be want to be just like him. My father want to be better than him. Um, so yeah, listen to him. So we're going to crush up this uh, garlic. Get some small cutting. Don't want big chunks of garlic in there. Yeah. I'm going to put my uh, bit of uh, ginger in there as well. Get my ginger in the pot as well. Again, guys, I'm saying, man, research this. All these ingredients you're putting in, research them, man. Research the power of ginger. Research it. Research thyme. Research co coriander. You know, research your garlic, research your onions, yeah? This is what our, our, our forefathers grew up on, these natural ingredients. And that's why you can see, like, you go back to, uh, you know, our, our, our grands and all that. That's why they can live to, like, 100, you know, 90-odd. You know, we, 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 we're us, we're dropping, like, friggin' flies, you know? Give that there. I'm gonna throw my coriander in there. I might thought I'm gonna do my onion actually. Give my onion half. Not using a full onion, guys. I'm gonna use half of my onion there. Again, all these things are just my flavouring, my food. Okay, I want to get this small one or big chunks of onions. Again, throw them in there. A little scoop again, a little spin. Courgette now. Guys, this is a quick meal. This, this ain't no all day meal. This is a quick meal in the kitchen. You don't want to be in the kitchen all day. You haven't got time to be in the kitchen all day. You've got things doing. You want to be in places. Everything's quick. Taking out these there now. See that there? I'll cut these up. I'm looking at the plant again, guys, and when I'm looking at the plant, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about that lady today. It's fucking mad. I'm so absolutely, I swear, man, it's a mad thing, mate. Absolutely mad. Simple thing like that can make you think about somebody and just bring joy to yourself, you know? And that's the space that I want to create all the time, you know? Helping people. Uh, and that just makes me feel good. Don't know about you, but that makes me feel good. Keeps me going. As always, guys, try and tidy as we go. Kitchen's a bit messed at the minute, but sometimes that happens there, guys. When you rush, 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 rush. Yeah, cut this up. I'm tasting this already. It's tasting nice. Nah, listen, I can just taste this already. Like, mm, I can't wait to eat this. Mm, can't wait, man. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah. Right there. Stir 
Sorry now. Again. Good. I've got a bit of a little bit of dormia sauce, so I'm gonna put it out in a minute. Put this up here. Got my avocado here now guys, I'm cutting up. And my avocado, you can eat avocado raw guys, so you're not trying to cook the avocado. Just gonna put it in there. It's part of my cause yet guys, everything else I can eat raw. Okay? Oh, I'm okra as well, sorry. I'm gonna eat my okra raw, can I? A little bit nasty. But yeah, everything else I can kind of like eat raw. So, you see, because I've got the flavour off my thyme, I want to take them out now. Don't need them in there anymore now, because all the flavouring that I've wanted off them has come off them, so you can get rid of all these thyme. Don't need them in the pot anymore. Yeah. Pass is nearly done. Get my little sauce out. I'm going to put my spring onion in there first, sorry. Spring onion in. Again, you might think, well, why have I put normal in it and spring onion in it? Again, guys. I want that flavour. I, I want them flavours, man. I'm, I want them flavours. Beautiful flavours. Mm. Want them flavours? Yeah, where are we at now? I got some red pasta there, sauce. Got left, a little bit left there. I'm gonna add into this. And I'm gonna add the pasta in there. I'm going to mix this up now. Okay, this is like a quick superfood mix, this guys. It's like, so we're not in the kitchen all day long. We're in and out. We want that energy. We want food that's going to keep us going. This is it right here. Yeah. And we're done. This is done, my friend. This is done. 
We're going to transfer this now to a bowl because we're not messing about. Making a mess. I'm going to put some coriander on this now. Dropping all the food down there. Table there, man. Put some coriander out here now. Again, this is the last ingredients I'm adding for my superfood dish. Again. Well, that's what it's there, guys. That's what we look like. This is our superfood there. It's out there. Ready to eat. Finished end of our show guys again i hope you've learned from something from, from today's show guys please like and share and again the power of giving the power of helping somebody is incredible the feeling that you get inside is a feeling that no one can take away like i said my plant that i've got from today every time i see that plant i'm going to remember today and how i got that plant and it's always going to be a good story to tell my kids as well so again guys remember we're all game changers there's a game changer inside every single individual most waiting to come out all we've got to do is surround ourselves with some good people. And um, yeah, Katrina, thank you very much. See you there, a quick little bit. And remember, I'm still coming around to show you how to cook little quick little dishes like this. So again, I hope you enjoyed. Remember, Orange Jones, the game changer. That was your game changing moment. Have a wonderful evening, guys. And remember, it only takes a moment to change the game, okay? And everything that we feel inside, we can change, right? Change starts inside, not outside. Start it inside. Right? Have a wonderful evening, guys. Blessed. Take care.